A silsesquioxane is an organosilicon compound with the chemical formula RSIO3 halves N R equals H, alkyl, aryl, or alkoxyl. Silsesquioxanes are colorless solids that adopt cage-like or polymeric structures with COC linkages and tetrahedral C vertices. Silsesquioxanes are members of polyoctahedral silsesquioxanes. POS which have attracted attention as precursors to ceramic materials and nanocomposites. Diverse substituents R, can be attached to the C centers. The molecules are unusual because they feature an inorganic silicate core and an organic exterior. The silica core confers rigidity and thermal stability. Structure Silsiskyxanes are known in molecular form with 6, 8, 10, and 12 C vertices, as well as polymers. The cages are sometimes labeled T6, T8, T10, and T12, respectively, T equals tetrahedral vertex. The T8 cages, the most widely studied members, have the formula RSIO3 halves 8, or equivalently R8 silicon oxide. In all cases, each C center is bonded to three oxo groups, which in turn connect to other C centers. The fourth group on C is usually an alkyl, halide, hydride, alkoxide, etc. In the cubic clusters with O symmetry the COC angles are in the range 145 to 152 degrees, being bowed out, allowing the C centers to better adopt tetrahedral geometry. The OCO angle are in the range, 107 to 112 degrees, CO bond, 1.55 to 1.65 A. Synthesis. Silsiskyxanes are usually synthesized by hydrolysis of organotrichlorosilanes. An idealized synthesis is 8 RSICL3 plus 12 H2O RSIO3 halves 8 plus 24 HCl The formation of HCl negatively impacts the relative rates of hydrolysis and condensation of intermediate silanols. Consequently, silsiskyxanes can be obtained directly by condensation of the corresponding silanetriles which occurs at neutral pH and works even for sterically very bulky substituents. 8 RSIO 3 RSIO 3 halves 8 plus 12 H2O Depending on the R substituent, the exterior of cage can be further modified. When R equals H, the CH group can undergo hydrosilylation or oxidation to the silanol. Bridged polysilsiskyxanes are most readily prepared from clusters that contain two or more trifunctional silyl groups attached to non-hydrolyzable silicon carbon bonds, with typical sol gel processing. Vinyl substituted silsiskyxanes can be linked by the alkene metathesis. Reactivity Cage rearrangement Reorganization of the siloxane Cage-like core T8, T10, can be performed, including isolation of intermediates, and cage rearrangement achieved by using Bronsted superacid, trifluoromethane sulfonic acid, CF3SO3H. In this case, reaction of hexahedral silsesquioxane and CF3SO3H in DMSO conducted in 1,12 molar ratio gives heptahedral silsesquioxane. In the first step CF3SO3H acid attacks siloxane COC bonds and the formation of COSO2CF3 bond parallel with cage opening process is observed and compound B is obtained figure below. Such an inversion is observed at silicon atom during nucleophilic displacement reaction that is usually noticed when leaving groups are replaced by soft nucleophiles. Upon further acid attack, both T6O, 4C and siloxane dimer D are formed. Because this reaction takes place in an aqueous conditions, compound E of general formula T8, O, 4 as a consequence of hydrolysis reaction was obtained. E is prone to reaction with D. And due to this, the abstraction of CF3SO-3 anion occurs and the closure frame with the spontaneous cage rearrangement to heptahedral T10 structure F is observed. Although, heptahedral F is less favorable energetically MM2 data, in this case its creation is forces by the formation of a new silicon oxide moiety from much more less stable substrates D and E. Polymeric silsiskyxanes 
Polymeric silsuskixanes have been reported, first by Brown. High molecular weight tractable polymeric phenyl silsesquioxane featured a ladder type structure. Brown's findings were the basis for many future investigations. Brown's synthesis proceeded in three steps. 1. The hydrolysis of phenyl trichlorosilane. 2. Equilibration of this hydrolysate with potassium hydroxide at a low concentration and temperature to give the prepolymer, and 3. Equilibration of the prepolymer at a high concentration and temperature to give the final polymer. Other notable silsesquioxane polymers include the soluble polymethyl silsesquioxane with high molecular weights described by Japan Synthetic Rubber. This polymer which, unlike its phenyl derivative, gels easily during the course of its synthesis, has found applications in cosmetics, resins, and lithography. Hydrodosilsiskyxanes A well-known hydrogen silsesquioxane is HSIO3 halves 8. Early syntheses involved treatment of trichlorosilane with concentrated sulfuric acid, and fuming sulfuric acid, affording T10T16 oligomers. The T8 cluster was also synthesized by the reaction of trimethylsilane with a mixture of acetic acid, cyclohexane, and hydrochloric acid. The CH groups are amenable to hydrosililation. Potential applications Electronic materials Films of organosilsesquioxane, e.g., polymethylsilsesquioxane, have been examined for semiconducting devices. Polyhydrodosilsesquioxane, which has a linked cage structure, was sold under the name Fox Flowable Oxide. Methylsilsesquioxanes have been examined for spin on glass, SOG dielectrics. Bridged silsesquioxanes have been used for quantum confined nano size semiconductors. Silsesquioxane resins have also been used for these applications because they have high dielectric strengths, low dielectric constants, high volume resistivities, and low dissipation factors, making them very suitable for electronics applications. These resins have heat and fire resistant properties, which can be used to make fiber reinforced composites for electrical laminates. Polyhedral oligomeric silsuskyxanes have been examined as a means to give improved mechanical properties and stability, with an organic matrix for good optical and electrical properties. The mechanisms of degradation in these devices is not well understood, but it is believed that material defect understanding is important for understanding the optical and electronic properties. Hydrodosilsuskyxanes can be converted to silica coatings for potential application in integrated circuits. LEDs For potential applications to light-emitting diodes, cubic silsuskyxanes, have been functionalized. One of the first precursors used in light-emitting application was octadimethylsiloxisilsesquioxane, which can be prepared in yields of greater than 90% by treating tetraethoxisilane or rice hull ash with tetramethylammonium hydroxide followed by dimethylchlorosilane. The general method of hydrolyzing organotrichlorosilanes is still effective here. When brominated or aminated, these structures can be coupled with epoxies, aldehydes, and bromoromatics, which enable attachment of these silsuskyxanes to pi-conjugated polymers. These methods can use copolymerization techniques, Grignard reagents, and different coupling strategies. There has also been research on the ability of conjugated dendromer silsuskyxanes to behave as light-emitting materials. Though, highly branched substituents tend to have pi pi interactions, which hinder high luminescent quantum yield. Sensors For chemosensor applications, silsesquioxane cages conjugated with fluorescent molecules can be directly used to detect fluoride ions under a cage encapsulation showing a change of color under naked eyes and other anions. Antimicrobial silsuskyxanes Silsuskyxanes have been functionalized with biocidal quaternary ammonium QASs groups to produce antimicrobial coatings. QASs are disinfectants, antiseptics, and antifoulants that kill bacteria, fungi, and algae. The relatively small size of the silsesquioxane molecule, 2 to 5 nanometers, allows a QAS functionalized molecule to have a charge density similar to dendromers and thus the antimicrobial efficacy is prominent. 
Dimethyl N octalamine was quaternized by octa 3 chloropropyl silsesquioxane, TCLPR 8. The resulting material exhibited antimicrobial efficacy for the prevention of growth of both gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Array of QAS functionalized polyhedral oligomeric silsesquioxanes QPOS, have been reported. These researchers varied the alkyl chain length from C12H25 to C18H37 and varied the counter ion between chloride, bromide, and iodine. The first reaction was the hydrosilylation between olidimethylamine and octosilane polyhedral oligomeric silsesquioxane via Karstedt's catalyst to make a tertiary amino functinolized silsesquioxane. The second step was the quaternization of the tertiary amino groups with an alkyl halide. The alkyl halides used were 1 iodooctadecane, 1 bromohexadecane, and 1 chloroctadecane. The silsesquioxane core in these hybrid materials provides an increased glass transition temperature, improved mechanical properties, higher use temperature, and lower flammability. These desirable properties combined with the ability to readily functionalize a silsesquioxane with multiple antimicrobial groups allows for robust biocides with higher charge densities while maintaining a compact molecular structure. The organic functionalities provide high compatibility with polymers allowing for easy incorporation into many mediums. Of particular interest are silicone paints and coatings used in hospitals. Typical biocidal ammonium functionalized polymers are incompatible, but silsesquioxanes closely mimic the silicone structure. A silicone-based paint combined with QAS functionalized silsesquioxanes could be used to paint medical and sanitary devices, biomedical devices, exam equipment, medical storage rooms, hospital rooms, clinics, doctor offices, etc. to prevent the formation and spread of bacteria. For example, the QPOS developed was combined with polydimethylsiloxane and catalysis to form a cross-linked network. The researchers found that coatings based on bromide and chloride had the best antimicrobial efficacy. Partially condensed silsesquioxanes, C7 species A well-studied example of a partially condensed silsesquioxanes is the trisilinyl Si7C7 nona oxygen trihydroxide, prepared by the slope months hydrolysis of trichlorocyclohexylsilane C6H11 silicon chloride. The same cage can be prepared by acid-mediated cleavage of fully condensed silsesquioxane. This process results in silandiles that can further be used to create new metallosilsesquioxanes. These partially condensed silsesquioxanes are intermediates en route to the fully condensed cages. In general, such silsesquioxane trisilinols form discrete dimers in the solid held together by cooperatively enhanced cyclic hydrogen bonded networks. These dimers are retained in solution and a dynamic equilibrium has been elucidated using NMR. Other partially condensed silsesquioxanes other partially condensed species adopt ladder structures wherein in which two long chains composed of RSIO3 halves units are connected at regular intervals by COC bonds. Amorphous structures include RSIO3 halves unit connections without any organized structure formation. Metal complexes of partially condensed silsesquioxanes the incompletely condensed silsesquioxanes bind numerous metals, including Na+, Li+, and B2+, as well as transition metals. Cubic metal silsesquioxane derivatives of the core stoichiometry MSI7012 can be prepared by treating the incomplete cage with a metal halide in the presence of a base such as triethylamine. Another route of synthesis involves first deprotonating the trisilinyl group using lin, sime 3 2 aspinol et al., later succeeded in doing the same using three equivalents of n boole in hexanes and further results indicate that alkali metal derivatives of deprotonated silsesquioxanes could also be prepared using alkali metalbis trimethylsilyl amides. Catalytic properties Although lacking commercial applications, metallosilsesquioxanes have been investigated as catalysts. 
The coordination environment provided by psi 7 c 7 nona oxygen trihydroxide has been proposed to approximate beta tritomite and beta cristobalite. Some of these complexes are active as catalysts for alkene metathesis, polymerization, epoxidation, and Diels Alder reactions of enones, as well as other Lewis acid catalyzed reactions like Oppenauer oxidation and Mirwine Pondorf Verlet reductions. A number of metallosilsiskixanes have been reported that can polymerize ethene, akin to the Phillips catalyst. The catalyst can be easily activated with trimethylaluminum and typically proceeds with high turnover number. Vanadium complexes as well as ziegler nata type catalysts also catalyze the polymerization of ethylene. The coordination of metals to the silsesquioxane framework gives electrophilic centers that are approximately as electron withdrawing as a trifluoromethyl group, leading to increased catalytic activity. References <laughs>